and had some fog this morning, some patchy drizzle and rain, but it cleared out finally this afternoon, and now we're seeing some beautiful sunsets across the board. We'll start in Gadsden there. Temperature sitting at 53, mostly sunny in Anniston. Beautiful setting sun there over Bryant Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa, where temperatures at this time are even close to 60 degrees. So we've actually seen a bit of a warm up as we've kicked off this week, and lots of sunshine there in Hamilton, 53. All right, let's look at the big map because we are starting to see some big changes, but the big changes will also bring us an opportunity opportunity for some wet weather by the middle of the week. So for us, pretty much from Texas across the deep south, milder air, and it's holding back some very cold air to our north. So now we're back in that traditional weather pattern where the traditionally colder spots are in the 30s and 40s and are colder than Birmingham, where we're sitting at 55 right now. Now elsewhere across central Alabama, 52 in Talladega, 55 in Clinton again, close to 60 there in T-Town. Highs today topped out at 56. That's average average for this time of year, but considering last week when temperatures were well below average, 56 feels like a little bit of a warm up, doesn't it? We're going to continue to see those temperatures stay relatively seasonable really all week long, even though we're going to have some sky conditions that change. The temperatures by and large are not going to be all of that dramatic this week. All right, tonight in the 30s, it's January, it will be cold, but not a blast of Arctic air. There will be some patchy morning fog tomorrow, and we will start to see a clearing sky. By afternoon, mostly sunny, temperatures close to 60 for our Tuesday. We could actually see a couple of spots hit that 60 degree mark. As far as our storm team radar goes, pretty quiet across the big map. There's some rain back to our west. That is really what's going to produce our next big chance for some wet weather. We'll stay dry tonight. We'll stay dry tomorrow with a clear sky. And then as we move into Tuesday night, we will start to see those sky conditions change a little bit. Really after sunset, the clouds begin to increase early Wednesday morning, maybe a stray shower in West Alabama. But then as we head towards daybreak on Wednesday, we'll start to see more rainfall. This could impact the morning commute Wednesday and then look at Wednesday late morning morning through afternoon. This area of low pressure moves through and it's a rainy mess across the state. But by five, six o'clock, most of that rain will be exiting the state. And then we'll start to see things clearing out towards the latter end of the week. And then another chance of rain late Friday into Saturday. And that is a look at your storm team seven day forecast.